Hi, this is Jessica Anderson from eVote Listings, and today we're going to show you how to install an inexpensive long range Wi Fi system on your boat. We're going to start out by showing you the parts you need for your project. This is a 12 decibel omnidirectional antenna. We have a power over Ethernet adapter, a wireless router, enough cat cable to accommodate your mounting location. And the heart of your project, the bullet, which is going to act as your repeater. We're going to start out by mounting your antenna. We choose to mount it on our pivot top. Try not to drop your tools in the water. Next, we mounted the bullet onto the antenna. It has signal strength LED indicators, so you may want to face it in a direction that you can see. We're connecting our Cat5 cable. We ran our Cat5 cable through the bimini top, out the base, and into the hole through the rubber grommet for weatherproofing. We've run our Cat5 cable through the hole into our aft cabin. Now we're supplying the power over Ethernet with 12 volts. Now we have all the wires run and we're ready to provide power to the bullet, so we're going to plug the Cat5 cable from the bullet into the PoE port of our Power Over Ethernet adapter. Be sure not to mix these ports up or you can damage your router. Now we have our router cable and we're going to plug our router cable into the network port of the Power Over Ethernet adapter. The next step is the initial configuration of the bullet to work as a wireless router. So we're going to connect the cable that goes from the PoE into the wireless router directly from the PoE into your computer. The bullet connected directly to our computer. We're going to change the IP settings on the computer so that the computer can talk to the bullet. We're going to first disable any wireless connections that we have. Right click, disable. And this is going to be within network and internet and then network connections. We're using Windows 7. This will be um, different depending on your operating system. So find your network connections. Then we're going to enable your local area connection. We're going to right click and go to properties. We're going to enable TCP IP version 4. Double click on that. And then we're going to set our IP address in the same block as the IP address of the bullet. The IP address of the bullet should be under default gateway. It's here, 192.168.120. And we're going to set ours in the same block, but not the exact same IP address so that we don't have an IP address conflict. Ours will be 192.168.121. And the preferred DNS server we're going to set as the IP address of the bullet, 192.168.120. Say OK twice. And now we can connect to the bullet through a web browser. Now we're going to change the IP address of the bullet to a less commonly used neighborhood in the IP blocks. The original IP address on your bullet is 192.168.1. We're going to change it to 192.168.10 to the 10 neighborhood to avoid conflicts with um, common IP addresses on other devices. So you're going to type in, in a web browser, the original IP address of your bullet which is 192.168.120 and we've already changed ours so when we put ours in it's going to be 192.168.10.20 but you're going to put in your original IP address and the username and password the original username and password is UBNT and the password is UBNT in our case we've already changed ours so once you put in UBNT you're going to log in and go to system. You want to change the username and password as on any router. And then uh, we're going to go to network. You're going to click DHCP and you want to go down to your LAN network settings and change the IP address here as we've done 192.168 and change this here to 1020 and then you're also going to give it a range of IP addresses for it to assign out. That will be your range start, 192.168.10.100. 
to 192.168.10.200. This is the range of the IP addresses that it will be able to assign. Now that you've changed your network mode to router and you've set your LAN settings, you can click Change at the bottom of the page and then click Apply at the top of the page. You're going to lose connection with your bullet until we change the settings on your computer again. So now that we've done the initial configuration on the bullet and given, its own, given it its own IP address, we need to change our configuration on our computer back to the way we had it to begin with. So we're going to go back to our network connections and to our local area connection. Right click, go to properties. We're going to TCP IP version 4, double click. And here you're going to change back to obtain IP address automatically and obtain DNS server automatically and say OK, then OK. And then you're going to enable your wireless network connection. And now we're ready for our next step. Now that we've done the initial configuration on the bullet, given it an IP address, and configured it as a router, we can take the Cat5 cable from the PoE that we've temporarily connected to our computer and connect it to the wireless router. Now we can access the bullet via our IP address, the new IP address on the bullet, over our wireless network. Now you're ready for the final configuration of the bullet. So you're going to go to the new IP address in a web browser, which is now 192.168.10.20, and you're going to log in with your new username and password, and go to the Advanced tab. Be sure that Noise Immunity is clicked as enabled, the distance is set to zero miles, and the ACK timeout is set to auto adjust. Scroll down to the bottom, click change, and then apply at the top. Next you're going to go to the wireless tab, set the wireless mode as station, and set the output power to the maximum. You're going to again click change at the bottom, and then apply at the top, and now you're finished with your configuration of the bullet. Now we've finished all the wiring, we've turned on our wireless router and the bullet, and we've configured the router according to the manufacturer's instructions. So we've set up a wireless hotspot on our boat. So we're going to go to the, our tablet. You can use a tablet, a phone, anything with Wi-Fi. So we're going to turn on our Wi-Fi, and our hotspot is called Sugar's House, which is remembered, so it's going to automatically connect. Now we can go to a browser and connect to the IP address of the bullet. Go to wireless. And we can scan for networks here by select. And you can choose a network. And select. And say it will show up here. Say change. And you want to say yes, you want to apply the changes. Then you can open a new browser window and you'll be connected to the internet via your new hotspot. Now you have your hotspot set up and you can use the internet from your boat. For a complete list of parts and more detailed instructions, visit eBoatListings.com.